I'm Debbie Godfrey. Welcome to the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. Today I'm going to give you a really fun idea for making self-esteem boxes or love boxes or love bags. This is an idea that I did since my kids were little and I actually have one sitting in front of me which is what reminded me about this. And you get a little box or a bag and for this is a actually a self-esteem box what I have in front of me and it's a little box that I made and I bought stickers and I put my name on it, it says Debbie and then there's all these little stickers, way to bounce back, sending you some love, enormous work, good show. And then what you do is you write things that make you feel good on the inside. So a couple of my little slips of paper in here. I made this probably 15 years ago, so it's kind of old. I love the way I take care of my body by going to the gym. I love the way I write creative poems. I love my enthusiasm. I love how my spot, smile brightens people's day. So things like that. So this I made just for me personally to perk me up. I keep it on my nightstand now, even though I made it so long ago. I can go through and dig and remind myself of all the things that make me happy about myself. Now, for your kids, you might want to make self-esteem boxes or you might want to make building self-esteem boxes or make me feel better boxes. And what this is, is if a kid's feeling down or like they have, if they're discouraged or they just need some extra self-esteem, you make these little boxes or bags. I think it's fun to decorate them with the kids. And then you write down things that make them feel better, like maybe give me a hug or tell me what you love about me or, you know, take me for a walk, take me to the park. So different things that make your kids feel loved, you write them down on pieces of paper and then they have this box or this bag. And when they need some extra then they can bring you the box or the bag and you can, you know, do whatever thing that they pick. You can also do these as a family. When my kids were like school age, we had one big bag and it had all these different, different ways to show each other that we loved each other and them. And so anybody could pick one out of the bag or sometimes for our family meetings, we would go around as a group and pick one out of the bag and one person would do whatever the thing was for the other people. So, the idea of love bag, love boxes, self-esteem boxes, self-esteem bags, you can actually tailor these for your family. Maybe because it's summertime, you want to do you know something fun we can do today together and have a bunch of different things and be able to pick them out of the bag. Maybe you can have you know, words that make me that make my day better, you know, things that light my, my, light me up during the day. So as a family, you can sit down and talk about like what, what would work for us and call them what you want, decorate them how, they, how you want and really own them and make them your own. You know, I really love that today there's a lot of things out there you can buy. Like you can buy a chore chart. You can buy lists of things to do. But really, honestly, when my kids were young, building the thing was part of the journey and making the list on our own, you know, by ourselves, creating that, being creative and making the list for this, making the boxes ourselves instead of buying something pre-made. I mean, that part of the process is part of the bonding and part of the time we spend together. So while I think it's great to have stuff pre-made in terms of giving us ideas, I think the time we spend with our kids is so very important that you don't want to miss that by, by pre-buying everything. Make sure that you're spending that time together building something. Have a great day. Happy parenting. Thank you so much for joining me here at the Positive Parenting Pep Talks podcast. I assume you're here because you're getting something out of these daily pep talks. And wouldn't it be great if more parents could hear more about these ideas for their children? And you can help me in a great way by liking the episodes, by sharing them on your social media, and especially by providing a review on your platform of choice. So if you could do me a huge favor and do that, it would really help get this out to many, many, many more parents. And we can all help our children feel more seen, heard, and understood, which is my life's work, is to make sure that all children feel loved and appreciated and that we can discipline them without breaking their spirit. 
So I hope that you've enjoyed these podcasts and will continue to enjoy them. And I really appreciate any support you can give me here at Positive Parenting Pep Talks. Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy parenting. Hey!